What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Today I'm doing a walk around video of this Ford F-150 that I just finished wrapping in matte metallic black with a full chrome trim delete. I'm gonna show you a before video of the truck and the current condition of the paint before it came in was actually really bad. The truck is a 2016, it was used for construction. The customer picked it up for a hell of a deal, but as you can see, it has a ton of scratches in it. A lot, this is a big question. You guys ask me all the time or ask all the time, can you wrap over scratches? Well, I have a video on YouTube that shows me wrapping the tailgate and shows you guys how to do it while embossing the lettering and wrapping over the scratches. So I'll put the clickable link up in the top corner there for you. That's so way you guys can find it if you're interested in watching it and seeing the end result. Either way, the truck turned out fantastic. It looks like a brand new truck. And if this customer ever decides to sell it, I would recommend definitely leaving the wrap on. It's much nicer looking and much better looking than the current condition of the paint that's underneath. Now, if you guys are looking for disassembly videos on like how to wrap and how to take off these door handles and wrap them in one piece and reassemble them, those videos will be on my website, ckwraps.com. The link is in the top corner and the description below. And if you guys are enjoying these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Turn on notifications if you wanna see more videos like this. Now let's get into the actual wrap of the truck and have that walk around of what this wrap actually looks like. Much cleaner look than it was before. It didn't wrap the front grille. We opted to, or customer opted to leave it gloss black, but we wrapped, or I wrapped, the center portion of this chrome trim right here. Obviously, this section is all wrapped right here around the headlights. I have a video on how to do that. That'll be on the website. Uh, front bumper is all wrapped. This was just gloss black on this side, but the center, it's kind of, it's kind of reversed. The center was chrome. Fender emblems removed and reinstalled. Chrome trim deletes on the mirror cap. Hood's all wrapped up. The roof is just left gloss black. It looks nicer with the mirror caps for sure. And also the chrome trim being wrapped on the window sills right here. Here is the door handle, all done in one piece. Now I've, I took these door handles apart fully and I could disassemble them. So this piece comes off, reassemble them because they're spring loaded. I show you guys how to do all of that in a matter of like, you know, taking the door handle apart wrapping it, cleaning it and all that stuff and reassembling it to about 30 minutes or so. And that's showing you guys how to do it. Fender flares done in one piece. All of them, the side step that drops down is wrapped. Also, that's just the chrome trim that's there. And then as this truck, if it was red, I've wrapped behind the bed as you can see here, okay? I'm not trying to cheat the customer out of wrapping any parts of this vehicle here. Uh, I want it to look as nice as possible when we're all set it, when it's all said and done, I want it to look really good. Inside the door, we're in there enough where we hide a lot of the black. Uh, gas cap door, obviously it looks mint, it looks really nice. Again, fender flares done in one piece. Tail lights were switched out from the OEM ones to these ones right here where uh, we have to switch out the blind spot sensor. So that was quite easy to do. And uh, I just switched that out for the customer as since it was off. Rear emblem was wrapped, left the blue. I didn't try wrapping the blue area because I was more concerned about the wrap. If I wrap over the blue area and do that in like matte metallic black, I was concerned that it would probably lift off the lettering. So I didn't want that to happen. I don't really like it blue. Maybe the customer will just change it out. Who knows? Um, in here, we've embossed. So this is all wrapped in and that video is there for you guys on YouTube already. It's all wrapped in, but I added in gloss black numbers and lettering for the F-150. So it stands out a little bit more, looks clean from the back end. And that was added afterwards. So that's not the paint, that is actual wrap. Uh, you know, corners and stuff, everything looks mint. That video again is there for the whole rear tailgate. Everything looks really nice on this truck. It's super clean, super sexy. Suits the truck really well, guys. Again, everything behind here is all wrapped into. That video is on the, is on the website already. Again, one piece door handles all the way through. Super clean, chrome trim, all the way wrapped. Even, uh, even wrapped these guys right here, sorry, the focus. Even wrapped those right there, it just revitalizes it. The black plastic was quite scratched up and didn't look very nice. Uh, one piece mirror caps. Nothing crazy to do, but I did a video on that also. And um, yeah, it's, I mean, they're, they're still challenging if you don't know what you're doing. And that's pretty much it as far as, you know, what this wrap looks like, guys. Looks super nice. Customer stopped by a couple of times. This is the only area that I can see that's got an imperfection in it. Out of the entire truck that had so many imperfections in it, this 
is the only area that I could find an imperfection. That's a massive stone hit the front end or something hit the front end, my guess is a stone, and that caused that damage right there. Otherwise, like this truck is so perfect. Right here was extremely scratched up, guys. It was so bad and you can't even see at all. Like let's go on an angle here. I can't see anything at all through the wrap. The finish is hiding all the scratches really well. Like the, the finish of the, of the truck right now, it looks about as smooth as possible. You know, and the same thing goes down here. Like there was a ton of scratching like all over here and that's all gone as well. There's a dent here and there on the other side. Um, so it's pretty much the same on both sides as far as the dent goes. So the tailgate was in rough shape. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to beat around the bush here. This truck was in rough shape and now it looks very much like it's brand new. Okay guys, that's the truck. I mean, let me know what you think about it. Curious what you think about the color. A lot of people have really liked it on Instagram so far. It's been a hit. Matt is still popular. It's not quite gone out of style. And it, I think personally it suits the truck really well, especially with the gloss black accents. Let me know what else you might've done as far as you know, wrapping this goes, what you might've changed, what you might've done yourself if it was your own truck. I'm curious to know. Uh, I think it looks great. Let's wrap two of these now in the past four months. Popular truck, probably one of the most popular trucks that you're gonna find on the road. A uh, ton of them out there, and you know that makes them more common as far as wrapping them goes. You're, you're more likely to get an inquiry or, and have to give a quote for a truck like this versus other trucks that are on the market or in the market. This truck right here, an F-150, I see them all over the place all the time. I mean, obviously there's a ton of aftermarket and stuff like that for it, but if you're getting a lot of quotes for this truck, I mean, you want to know how to wrap it properly and you want to know how to do it nicely. It's not a little bit of work. It's a lot of work. Like this was, this took me about six, seven days or so, give or take, you know, it was a lot of work and I was putting in like eight, nine hour days. It was not fast the material I was using fast. You know, it wasn't hard to install or anything like that, but the, the prep and everything else that went into it, the disassembly on top of that, taking off the fender flares, taking off the taillights, the door handles, the mirrors, the window trims, all that stuff and cleaning this thing. Like I cleaned it really thoroughly, but again, it was used for construction. There was dirt inside everything and everywhere. And there's still dirt like falling out of the back, even though I've just cleaned the floor, dirt is still falling out of the back of this thing. And it's got a minor oil leak in case anyone saw. Customer already knows about it. Anyways, he stopped by, He's, he said he loves the finish and uh, he's more of a satin black. I wrapped a couple of his cars in satin black and uh, his Lamborghini in the satin titanium chrome so this is his new toy or another toy of his and he'll enjoy this one just as much i think so that's pretty much it guys if you enjoy the video again don't forget to hit that like button again stay tuned for more videos thank you for watching i appreciate it take care